We're gonna take a look at how to replace the level sensor on Mercedes. This is uh, on vehicles that have aromatic suspension. You can see here the air strut. And right here we have the level sensor. So this sensor basically tells the aromatic system um, and what, how high or low your vehicle is at, for this particular corner. Now here we're looking at the front of the vehicle. So each front struts will have their own level sensor. Some models on the back, they might have independence of each wheel. You'll have one of these sensors on the back, but sometimes on the back, a sensor similar to this measures the, the rear axle. It doesn't really measure each individual uh, rear wheel. So it depends on the make, but these are pretty simple to replace. Uh, you have the wire harness here. You just have to press this and pull it out. So there's a wire harness. You press these tabs and then you pull it. Here we have a 10 millimeter nut. We need to kind of hold it on the back with um, eight millimeter. So we take that knot off. So the level lever is off. A lot of times these will break right here though. So that's where they disconnect. But you can see that moving freely. I need to remove these two bolts right here and they are tricky to get to so once you remove these two bolts right here they are, they are T25s the Torx 25 once you remove those you go ahead you replace the sensor and you put the bolts back in and then you reconnect this rod right here and that's it it's pretty simple the hardest part about replacing this sensor is that these two bolts as you can see they're pretty tricky to get to but besides that that's pretty simple it is recommended to do a suspension calibration afterwards especially if you notice that uh, once you do replace the sensor the vehicle uh, is sitting higher or lower lower at this corner in comparison to the rest of the car uh, then you'll need to use a professional scanner um, to recalibrate the vehicle. Uh, if you don't have a scanner, the closest thing that you can do without without an, a professional scanner is to check this level right here and make sure there's no bending in here because if this distance here is not where it should be, if it's shortened or longer, it will make the car sit higher or lower at this corner so uh, that's it connect the wire here click press it until it clicks and that's it you're done thank you for watching